Hi, I'm Susie, and I've got some beautiful, vibrant gel colors today. I'm going to combine with a sheer, and we're going to write some messages on your nails. Let's get started. So I think one of the best ways to be able to write initials or words on the nails is to use a gel polish first. If you use polish, you have to wait till it dries, and that can take a while. If you use gel polish, it's dried instantly. One of the things I don't like about gel polish is it can be thick. So finding a really thin one and applying it thin is to your best advantage. It looks most natural and it looks like polish, which is hard to do with gel polish. I have found that Ugly Duckling is about to be released and I've got a sneak peek on how to use it and what some of the colors are. Gel polish is very different than nail polish. When you put nail polish on, I put it on quite thick and in one or two or three strokes, that's it. Gel polish is a little more forgiving in that you can put it on quite thin, but you can put it on little patches too, which is really quite an advantage. So this is the color on top. You can see the color is very accurate. I love being able to have a peekaboo. Otherwise, you're always taking it and flipping it upside down and reading and memorizing the number or the name, but you can see the color directly. I open this up and you want to remove when you're polishing, remove it off of the post, one side completely and off the side of the brush as well. Then on the other side, you can remove half of it. You don't need a lot. Now what's great about this is, like I say, with polish, you just sort of one stroke, especially a cream color. But with gel, you can do these kinds of things. Because it has a little bit of a self-leveling attitude, it sort of flows into each stroke that's on the nail and makes it a little bit more even. This brush that she's designed on this is actually quite clever. I don't know if she did this deliberately, but it has a bit of a, almost like a bit of a U shape. It's not square or blunt off the end, so it actually fits in the cuticle a little bit easier than a blunt brush. So there, I missed a section. So you can do it like this. You could never do that with nail polish. It would not be happy at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a thin coat on all of these. you get those little sides. So I got a little bit on the cuticle there. I'm just taking a cuticle stick and I'm just going to wipe that right off. Nice and clean. You can use your nail, but if you just finished polishing, you don't want to do that. One thing I've noticed about this particular line, it's not running at all, so I don't feel the need to flash cure it really quickly. I've done the thumb and look, it's not even running. That's pretty good. All that just saves you a little extra time. I often forget to do this, but I remembered I'm going to use this lighter pink color as an accent. It's kind of a trendy thing we're doing right now, and sort of doing an accent nail. Oh, that's pretty too. So you can see that's kind of streaky and stuff, but that's okay. The second coat will pick that up. And if need be, we can always do a third, but the trick is thin. Gel is much happier thin. It also cures better. Okay, so we'll go and just do the pinky now. If you cure it when that's on there, it'll cure to your skin. It won't stay there forever because the oils of your skin will eventually get rid of it. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in my light and I'm going to cure that. This is a 30 second cure in an LED, 90 seconds in a UV, which is pretty standard. Sometimes it's neat when you can see in there, it's all fluorescent. Okay, so I've got my base color on, two coats, and now I'm going to show you this beautiful glittery coat. I might try to do it in a bit of a swoop. Let's see what it looks like. It sort of enhances. That 
That's pretty. I'm going to try it full now. Let's get a look. Yeah, that's pretty. Let me see what it looks like on this pink. That's pretty too. It's very nice. <laughs> we'll put some on you after. Ooh. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Maybe on your toes too, eh? Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to see my feet. No. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and cure this, and then we'll get to writing the words on here. So most gels, I think maybe all of them do, they have a top layer that after you do it is a bit sticky. Now we're going to write some words on here and we can't do that if it's sticky. So I'm just going to remove that stick with some alcohol. And then when you do that, gel needs to have a slightly buffed surface. So then we're going to just slightly buff it. Make sure all the sticky stuff is off. Now we're going to buff it. I'm going to get the soft side of a medium file. This is a 180-180 grit. And I'm just going to gently, I don't want to go through my colors, right? I'm just going to gently buff the surface. And I'm going to do the whole thing because even if you just did a section of where you're going to write, you're going to have to put the clear coat over top of the whole thing. So you've got to buff the whole thing, right? Not just a segment. And it'll take away the shine. You don't have a matte polish. This is one way to to get the matte look, right? Just buff off the shine or use a matte polish. They've got them in gels now, so this line has one as well. So you just give it a slight buff. Now I find I don't clean the surface again with the um, alcohol because sometimes it leaves a bit of a film. I guess it hasn't dried off right away and I'm gonna start writing on it and it kind of makes it kind of icky. So don't um, necessarily have to do that. So I think I'm gonna use white. I've done calligraphy before for you guys and I'm always using black. So this time, I'm going to use white, especially with this color. I want the white to really pop. Okay, I'm going to grab my, I think it was this one I liked. You can pick these up at Michael's, they're not too expensive. This is an airbrush ink, and you can use this um, for a pen ink as well. So it's very, very liquidy. You can't use acrylic paint or anything like that. It's got to be this thin, thin pen and ink. And now I'm just going to write... This brings back penmanship, doesn't it? Oh, you probably can't see as well on this sparkly stuff. Can you see that? I. Yep, there you go. Oh, heart? Yeah. Mm, what could it be? Mm. Not the cameraman. There's not enough room to write that in there. No. So it ain't that. Can you read that? Oh, I <laughs> heart mom. <laughs> oh. Then we'll put who the message is from. Okay, so there's the problem. Sometimes your calligraphy pen will dry up. I dip it in my alcohol cleaner, whatever you got, and then take a little pad and just clean it out. Calligraphy pens can be a little bit finicky, but just keep it clean and you'll be happy. It'll just flow quite nicely. So I'm gonna move these fingers a little bit so I can sign it. See how tiny you can get? Look at that. Isn't that cute now? That's nice. I can read it. Susie. Mm -hmm. That's adorable. I'm gonna just put a little Sometimes you can do too much, but little circles before and after the word. I don't know, I just think it looks kind of cute.
Okay, cute. So, trick is, wait for this to dry. Right, this isn't gel, so you can't use the lamp. No, that right? that's right. This is paint. You just have to let this dry, which doesn't take too long. If you're impatient like me, it feels like forever. And then, we will use the lamp again because we're going to take the top coat. And you always want to finalize your gel with the top coat. I think that's dry. Oh, this one's dry enough. Let's do this one at least. And then just paint your top coat on. For a second there, I thought you were putting black on. I was like, ah! <sighs> no. It's going to cover it. it. That's a good point, though. It has to be in this black container to protect the sun. If it was a clear container, the sun would just cure it right in the bottle. So it has to be covered. That's the whole deal. So you shouldn't leave it open. No. So I'm going to top coat everyone. You can see that sparkle just comes to life. And now I'm protecting this paint in there and that'll be in there forever now. Well, until I file it off again. Till next week. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I got a new kit. One great thing about this little lamp is because it's so lightweight, I was just sort of doing it like this and then the thumb, but I realized if you just go like that, you get all the fingers together. And because the lamp is so lightweight to hold, you can just hold it right over top. If you're looking for a little lamp like this, I got a link in the description below. You can get a discount too. It's a great little lamp. Okay. What are you doing? I'm just removing the sticky layer that the gel produces after it's cured. Oh. Huh. Well, you're learning a lot today. I am. Okay, and then my trusty cuticle oil. Massage that in. Let's check out those pictures. It's a really fun little design you could put at the end of an appointment, or you can even do this yourself at home and you can write anything in there that you want. It's very cute. Well, thanks for watching. Oh, and Ugly Duckling will be on my website available for purchase. I just have to get all the photos. Oh, um, maybe I can get the cameraman to do it for me. You think he can yeah. do some photos for me? Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? He does everything else. <laughs> thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.